What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. But don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you click the link in the description down below and follow me on all my social media accounts. Okay. I also have my kids channel, which is the Country Kids Playhouse channel, linked in the description down below as well. Listen, honey. Let's address my last video, okay? Because, listen, I'm always one of the few people that get on here and remind y'all that uh, we ain't going to be here on Earth forever. I wish we could, but uh, unfortunately, we all have to die. And death can't really be a bad thing because we all got to go through it, right? Why is it that people really want to spend their last days here on Earth? Like, I would say bullying people. I would say trying to make somebody else's life miserable. Always got to be negative Nancy's. Like, come on now. Y'all already know I like to have fun. I do like to flirt, okay? There's no harm in flirting. That does not mean I'm easy just because I have four kids. It does not mean I'm easy just because I know how to have fun. These social media platforms are supposed to be for entertainment. If you're too sensitive to be on this platform, then leave because i'm i'm at that point in my life where it's like hey i'm gonna cherish my last days here uh hopefully like i said we will all live to see 100 but the reality of it is we don't know we don't get a peek into we don't get a peek into what age we're gonna be leaving this earth so why would you want to spend your last given days like being negative all the time being so like like relax a little bit Y'all act like it's a crime to just smile. Like, why is everybody always so mad? Y'all gotta get off that, for real. It's not, like, it's not cute. I'm gonna block you every time. The girls that get it, get it. We all about trying to just have fun, especially us single moms. Especially us single moms. Listen, we already have a lot on our plate anyways, being around kids 24-7. Okay, so... Us making innocent content just flirting with somebody like why do y'all take that stuff serious the man oh he was a gorgeous fine white man but the reality of it is he lives all the way in south africa do y'all really think that i'm gonna go all the way to south africa come on now i have four children okay so it's like some stuff i don't even have to say because like i said the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't want to get it they just ain't gonna get it but don't, don't brush your negativity over here on my channel because I like to have fun. I like to create good content. Were you guys not entertained, the ones that was over there on my TikTok channel, were you guys not entertained with us flirting back and forth with each other? Like, that's, that's what I mean when it's like... The world is already going to be beat us up. The world is already going to whoop our ass. Everybody got bills to worry about. Everybody got family members that are either sick or just acting plump, batshit ass crazy. Like, why don't y'all laugh more? Why don't y'all just look at the content and whether you feel a negative way about it or not, you don't have to comment. You will be getting blocked. I don't care if y'all call me weak. I don't care. I don't I don't I don't care about your opinion. Y'all are not gonna run my channel over here. You're gonna get blocked. I'm a grown ass woman. I pay all my bills by myself. I take care of all my kids, okay? I don't care what nobody on this platform has to say about me and never did. Especially now. Because listen. You're worried about me. I'm not worried about you. I'm just doing what I would normally do on a day-to-day -day basis, even if I wasn't one here. I know how to laugh. I know how to enjoy time, enjoy the moment. Have y'all not realized that time has sped up? I don't even know if it got something to do with the time change or not over the years, but time has really sped up. Like, was we not just in April, May, and June? Now we're all the way finna be celebrating christmas again it's gonna be 2025 and also for the slow ones out there if you have not noticed we're not getting younger we're aging in time like full force fast as hell so this this is what i tell people this is what i tell people 
Yes, we are living in our last days. We don't know when the last day is going to be our last day. Whatever you decide to do with your last days, that's on you. Have absolutely nothing to do with me. If you want to be if you want to be stuck in the past, if you want to use your last days trying to bully somebody, trying to pick apart somebody's life to try to make them feel bad, if you want to put all of your energy into the dark part of the world, then hey, it's your life. You can do whatever you want to do with your last days because it's your last days. Can't nobody tell you what to do with your last days. Just like can't nobody tell me what to do with my last days. But I guarantee you, I'm not going to keep entertaining negativity. I'm not going to be focusing more on the negative stuff over the positive stuff. I'm going to try my best to stick as close to the lights as possible. Because once our time is up, and I don't even think that people even understand. Like when I say that, I say that for a reason. Because we were all chosen for this lifetime for a reason, right? And once our time is up, it's up. I don't know what part of that people don't understand. I think that social media uh, make people lose a sense of reality to where we all feel like we're going to live here forever. Like we, we all feel like, okay, if God woke us up this morning that it's a guarantee that he's going to wake us up tomorrow morning. And that's not necessarily the case because there's somebody right now that we all know that thought that they was going to wake up. that thought that they was going to wake up the next day and they did not. So why would you want to waste your precious days that was given to you, which is a blessing, which is an honor, all of that. And the reality of it is it's a privilege to be here on this earth. Whether you want to believe that or not, whether you're spiritual or not, it's a privilege and it's a blessing to be able to take a deep breath when you wake up in the morning time, to be able to give God thanks, to be able to love on our kids, love on our loved ones, just to even get ourselves dressed. You not know how many people is paralyzed right now? How many people is battling cancer right now? Like, why do y'all always have to take things and turn it into a negative? Me flirting with that man or that man flirting back, what did that do for you, for you to get on here and talk negative? It was just innocent fun. And I don't even have to come on here and explain that because the reality of it is, if I really wanted to get with that man, I would. He's single. Whether he's from South Africa or, or South Padre Island, whatever y'all want to say. He, the man, like, there, there, it was no harm in that at all. Y'all did the same thing with Big Mike. Y'all tried to turn something positive into a negative. Said I was begging for money. It was entertaining. The man gave me $5 and it was given right back to him. Y'all tried to say the man was married. The man is not married at all, okay? So, keep that negativity on y'all's channels okay don't bring that over here because you're gonna get blocked i don't care who don't like it this is the thing about negativity i don't have to watch it just because people on this platform want to be negative i don't have to look at it that that's that's our god given right this is why when they say god give us choices and we have the decision to control our life that's me controlling my life Anybody that's picking apart my videos, being negative, trying to be funny or whatever, talking about my motherhood, talking about my kids or whatever people be doing on here. Listen, that ain't got nothing to do with me. It just shows more about you than me. I'm over here focused on getting my bag. That's the only thing that's on my mind right now is my children and getting my bag. That's it. So that's it. That's how you want to spend your last days being, um, too serious and not knowing how to laugh and have fun and being you know and, and enjoying entertainment then that's on you but that's your choice though and i have a choice as well i have a choice to either listen to the foolishness i have a choice to leave the foolishness in the comment section or i have a choice to block you that way you have to come in on a, on a troll account and and if you're smart you wouldn't even come in on a troll account because that's gonna get blocked too Learn to have fun, especially us single moms. Like, do y'all not know how we feel after having kid after kid after kid? Some of you don't because y'all just, just have like one or two kids. But for me, having three kids back to back not only did a lot to my mental state, but it also did a lot to my body. And now I'm slowly but surely getting back to a new and improved Erica. I'm not even going to say the old Erica, but I'm slowly but surely getting back to a new and improved Erica. And it's like y'all trying to take that from me. Y'all could never. 
y'all can never because i know who i am in the inside some of you guys will never get a chance to know me in real life and that's a good thing some of y'all will never get a chance to know the real erica because y'all already have this image painted of me on this internet but as you guys can tell it's all for entertainment it's all for a bag Either you're going to be in your bag and shut up or you're not. But still, you still need to shut up. Don't bring that over here. Listen, I'm not going to stop putting out content that I know I like to do. I like to have fun with my content. I'm not going to stop putting out the content that I love for you. I'm not going to do that. No, this video is not for my true supporters because my true supporters was over there having such an amazing time on my TikTok. I know my day ones because they are they are with me on all my platforms. They're one of the ones that's liking, hearting, commenting on everything. Like, y'all are really like LBE gang for real. And I appreciate that. I'm not talking about y'all. Even the ones that... um has been a good supporter or a true supporter of mine for years to come from when I first got on here and just had Cam. Um, through it all, like, I'm not talking about y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all continue to do what y'all do. Y'all continue to just sit back and enjoy, like, good fun, you know. I'm talking about the ones that always find anything to talk about. If I had, if my forehead was ashy, they'll screenshot it and zoom in and talk about how my forehead was ashy. I'm talking about those people. You, hey, you can pick apart my life if you want to. That'll be on you. Because if you're picking apart my life, the reality of it is you're not enjoying your life. How could you be enjoying your life when your job, your ultimate job is to pick apart my life? And the reality of it is you do not know me at all. You've never seen me in person a day in your life at all. You don't know me. We've never went out and had breakfast with each other. We've never, we don't, we don't cross each other's paths at all. We live in two totally different states. Uh, of cross, we live in two different parts of the world. Like, you, you have never had the luxury of meeting me. So why would you want to invest all of your time and energy? Even if you are just someone in the audience giving your opinion, your opinion is always negative, and that's why I'm making this this video. Learn to laugh. Relax a little bit. Don't put all your focus into love by Erica because before you know it, your time has will be will be expired. And I hate to say this, uh, I I wouldn't want anybody to be on their deathbed worried about me and what I have going on in my life. And then it's kind of unfair to you too because you will never get a chance to explore and learn yourself if you're so busy focused on me and my life and what I have going on. Because do you think I'm going to be focused on what you? and your life have going on no absolutely not the, my main focus is god first my children second and then me after that anything else to try to come into our bubble uh you're getting dismissed period so all i'm saying is and i'm even in this part right here i'm also speaking to my true supporters because y'all have uh, y'all have always been loyal but sometimes y'all get caught slipping too where y'all end up sending me some type of negative stuff i addressed that in like two or three videos ago but since this is going to be my last time doing it because I will not be addressing this anymore, I'm just going to be blocking. And if you are a moderator of mine, you can hide people's channel in the comments. You can also delete comments too. I don't know if you know that or not. But anytime y'all see something negative, if you're a moderator, all you got to do is click the three dots and you can delete it. So just a reminder to y'all. We're not on it. We're going to enjoy our time here on Earth because it is precious. We are not going to be here forever. I know when, we're, when I was in my 20s, listen, I feel like I was unstoppable. Once you hit 30, it's like something goes off. That light bulb goes off like, oh, snap. I need to really like get my life together because 30 is still young. But the reality of it is like you're in a whole different era. Like you, you cannot make the same mistakes that you did in your 30s. I mean, in your 20s. You cannot make the same mistakes that you did in your 20s. Absolutely not. So, true supporters, I do love y'all. Thanks for the ones that have not been bringing any type of negativity over here in my DMs and my emails or all of that. We're going to continue to battle on TikTok. Y'all are going to continue to see different collaborations. Some will be with women. Some will be with men. Whatever you get is whatever you get. I'm not going to pick apart my content to make anybody on this platform happy. It's either you're going to like it or you're not. And if, you, and if you're not going to like it, then I don't care. 
my life is not don't don't try to make my life yours my life does not revolve around anybody on this platform and it shouldn't okay because i can promise you when i get off of this app um when i'm cooking my kids meals when i'm giving them bubble baths and when i'm dropping them off at school and i'm cleaning up around the house all that like this platform is not a thought on my mind i'm only on here to entertain and to grow if you get it you get it if you don't you don't but listen i'll see y'all in another video